Hello, my name is Tom Haynes and I work on the user experience team for Rational Team Concert. In this demo, you will learn how to promote source code, source code data, and binary executables. When promoting code to the next hierarchical level in your delivery process, you don't want to have to perform unnecessary actions at the destination, such as rescanning the source or rebuilding files when no changes have occurred. This video demonstrates the steps required to copy a set of source code, source code data, build maps, and executable code from one level, N, to the next level, up, N plus 1, in a controlled and reproducible manner, for example, from a development test environment to a production runtime one. It is assumed that a Jazz build system, Rational Build Agent, is installed and running, and that for the project area a build engine is created and your stream has been selected for source code data scanning. Also, that system definitions, dataset definitions, language definitions, and translators have been added in your project area and have been associated with datasets in your Jazz SCM. A source dependency build definition for where the source files currently reside, for example the dev test environment, has already been created and successfully run. Create a target dependency build definition for where the source files and binaries will be promoted to. This might be identical to the source build definition except for a different dataset prefix or high level qualifier, load directory, and build workspace. Create the new definition based on the source one to make it easier. Select a build workspace that flows to the target stream. Keep the settings the same on the General and Dependency Options subtabs in the Dependency Build tab. In the Team Artifacts view, right-click over the Enterprise Extensions Promotions item and select New Promotion Definition. On the Promotion tab, select the source and target build definitions created previously. Select the components to promote. Request an execution of the promotion definition and ensure it runs successfully. It will copy binaries, for example, object decks and load modules, to new data sets with names prefaced by the target prefix in the target host location and create new build maps for those binaries. PromotionInfo.xml shows what binaries were copied.
finish the promotion, right click over the promotion bill results and pick Complete Promotion. This is a three step process. All incomplete steps will be attempted. We will promote source code data, promote source, and request a target build. Observe the progress indication as the source and source code data are copied to a different stream and JFS location respectively in the repository, and the target build is initiated. This build prepares the target build definition for future builds. No programs in the promoted components are built at this time. Open the target build definition builds tab to monitor the progress of the build. Note the absence of additional logs, confirming that nothing was built. Let's now open the Promotion Build Definition Results view again. Note the indication that the source code data and source have been successfully promoted already. Let's open the Source Build Definition Build Results tab. Note that if you want to promote an older build result, you must first right-click over the build result and select Request Rebuild, then pick the binary setting. After the rebuild completes successfully, then run the promotion build, which will always pick up the most recent successful source build. I hope this demonstration has been helpful. Be sure to view the other demos available for Rational Team Concert and related products.